there, traders and investors. Bennett Tindall with TradingAnalysis.com. It's Monday, March 29th, 2021, and we're taking a look at the S&P 500. If you follow my work last Thursday, March 25th, I put out a video suggesting that the move off of the March 16th high was in fact counter trend and corrective as opposed to motive or trend establishing. And therefore, I felt regardless of where this fit into the higher degree picture, that it would present a viable entry opportunity, a tradable low. And based on our Elliott Wave interpretation, I suggested that either it had just come to completion and we were going to resume the up to upside trend, or perhaps we had one additional retest of the downside support. At that point, we did anticipate a resumption of the upside move. We've since seen about a 2% rally, and I wanna now bring you up to speed with what I think has transpired out of the orange wave too low and try to pinpoint a potential entry opportunity for continuation. So taking you off of the daily, you'll notice the yellow circle here on the 15 minute chart for context. What we're gonna take a look at is actually the move off of the March 5th low. So if I draw that circle once again, you can see all of the price action now shown on the 15 minute time frame. So now each one of these bars represents 15 minutes worth of trading action. We had a very sharp five wave rally and at that point, we entered a series of three wave counter trend pullbacks. The three wave counter trend move unfolded in a measured move fashion in which the secondary wave was equal to the initial directional wave. So here's your first actionary wave. Here's your counter trend reactionary wave and your secondary directional trend. So there's a three wave correction against a higher degree five wave move. That gave you about a net 50% retracement of the five wave rally. And from there, we have since now just completed yet again another five wave move. Zooming in to all of the price action since the March 25th low, you'll notice that we have now seen a five wave progression. This is a motive trend establishing move and should continue to the upside. We have a move up in one, down in two, up in three, sideways in wave four. Wave four was spot on equal to the magnitude demonstrated in wave two, and it was also sideways squared up to a directional wave two. That gives us the guideline of alternation as well as the guideline of equality. The guideline of equality simply says corrections of the same degree will often tend towards equality in duration magnitude, or both. So price or time, or both price and time. In this case, price. And in terms of the guideline of alternation, that simply says when you have a directional wave two, generally speaking, you'll see a more sideways fourth wave. Or the reverse of that, if you have a sideways wave two, look for a more directional wave four. We have since now seen this trend either just come to completion into today's high, which would be viewed right like so, and would essentially anchor that wave one, or alternatively, this ending diagonal has still yet to complete. We get one final thrust higher into resistance and then start the three wave pullback. Now, given that this is a contracting variety diagonal, that means that we should see progressively smaller segments, which means wave five should be smaller than wave three, and wave three should be smaller than one, with wave four being a smaller retracement than two. Thus far, all of those requirements have been met, but if we're going to entertain additional upside into tomorrow, we don't wanna see wave number five exceed 4,004 spot 55 for the S&P. However, this is likely going to conclude somewhere in the 3,990 to 4,000 region, Typically, we'll see a throw over and then you'll see the three wave correction set in. So I personally remain bullish. I'll be looking to this counter trend corrective pullback as an entry opportunity. And as always, we'll continue to bring you up to speed. You can visit us anytime at tradinganalysis.com. Don't forget to check us out every Wednesday, 845 Eastern on Todd Gordon's YouTube channel for RTA Live Wednesday show. Like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.